Oh, that sunshine was nice to see today and the warmer temperatures were even nicer. Um, looking off to our southwest in Miami, Oklahoma, we find a little bit of high cloud and is starting to stream in from the west. And while we're finding currently clear skies in Springfield, that will change overnight tonight as it looks like we'll find those high clouds slipping into our skies. Two temperatures right now, not too hard to take. It's 44 degrees. If you're going to be out and about this evening, again, temperatures will be chilly, but it's not going to be near as cold as we've seen the last couple of nights. Uh, here's that high cloudiness off across western uh, areas, uh, parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and that'll be streaming into our skies and thickening up especially by sunrise. So overnight tonight, increasing clouds and when those two things will keep temperatures from getting as cold as the last couple of nights. It looks like lows only in the low to mid thirties. Tomorrow, high cloudiness looks pretty widespread. We'll call it filtered sunshine for the morning hours, but those high clouds should thin out as we get into the afternoon. And with that sunshine, temperatures are probably going to be a touch warmer even than they were today. Winds will be breezy out of the south. Uh, here's our hour by hour forecast, and uh, it does an okay job of showing the high cloudiness, at least for the morning hours tomorrow. Again, mostly clear skies overnight tonight. Temperatures settling out in the low to mid 30s. Winds picking up. And then tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, you can see it uh, looks like we've got a fair amount of high cloudiness already across the area. That will continue across the area through the morning hours and then should slip east out of the area as we get into the afternoon. So the afternoon looking brighter than the morning hours across the Ozarks. Temperatures tonight, uh, there'll be some variation, but it looks like generally 30 to 35 degrees. Winds out of the south to southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow, we'll see highs up around 50 to 55 degrees. Again, partly sunny conditions early on and then becoming mainly sunny for the afternoon. Winds out of the south to southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour and gusty. The rest of the week, Friday, cool and quiet Saturday colder with a cold front slipping across the area early in the day. And like I said yesterday, that cold front laying the foundation of cold for some wintry weather mischief for Sunday into Monday because we'll have a storm which will move into the southwestern US and then that storm will move east across the area by Monday afternoon into the evening hours. And that'll generate a couple of days where we're going to have to watch out for some wintry weather. I don't think we're going to see wintry weather all day Sunday and then all day Monday. I think Sunday we may see some early on and then it may kind of take a break with more coming in uh, Sunday night and then into Monday. As far as what I'm expecting, I think with the scenario as it stands right now, there's still a lot of variation in the model guidance that we're looking at, but it looks like we're probably going to start off with maybe snow or rain. And then as warmer air tries to work in from the south, it may change over to more of a cold rain, especially across northern Arkansas into southern Missouri. Then that sort of tapers off. And then overnight Sunday night, we'll probably see more of a cold rain to the south with some snow to the north. And then that all changes over to all snow as we get into Monday as some colder air works in on, on uh, across the area. I also still think we're probably looking at some accumulation for parts of the area. Now, again, given what I've seen today and the trends that I've seen over the last several days, the odds for all snow or mostly snow highest to the north, near and north of Highway 54. Here in southern Missouri, we're going to be in that zone where, again, we could see some snow or rain early on and then maybe just a cold rain for Sunday afternoon and then back over to snow as we get into Monday. Areas to the south of the state line, it looks like it's probably going to be mostly a cold rain, although we could see a little bit of snow on the back end of the system. So again, we're still days out, but just a heads up, this is maybe our first sort of winter weather event that we may have to uh, contend with for the season. I know we had a little bit of snow back in late October and back in November, but really not too much there. Uh, here's your seven day forecast again, uh, cool conditions on Thursday, cool conditions on Friday, colder on Saturday, 43 for the high. 35 on Sunday and really kind of depends on how the storm tracks to the area. But right now I think it may be a struggle to get temperatures above freezing on Monday and they may actually fall back into the 20s on Monday as colder air builds in Tuesday and Wednesday that will be back to sunshine with temperatures heading higher again. OK, and what is our viewers club number today? Well, that number tonight is 206-201 and our jackpot is $600. OK, Jamie, thanks. Coming up next.